Football fever is back. Back in the hallowed grounds of Lusail Stadium, where legends are made and dreams take flight. The stage is set for the grand opening of the AFC Asian Cup Qatar 2023, drawing fans from across the globe. All eyes will be on the host and reigning champion Qatar as they take on Lebanon in the tournament's opening match. <laughs> very good and very like fun and I just love the feeling you know the feeling of supporting your country like it's not my first game ever but I'm very excited especially since it's the opening match like I love the stadium and I love the vibes and every time I come it reminds me of the World Cup final before make a good experience and he will make it again playing on their home turf Qatar not only have the advantage against Lebanon but the Maroons have remained unbeaten in seven matches against Lebanon on the international pitch. Having clinched their first AFC Asian Cup title in 2019 with a 3-1 win over four-time winners Japan, Qatar are poised to defy the odds once again. However, their path to glory comes with hurdles. Newly at the helm is Spanish coach Marquez Lopez stepping to the fray just a month ago. Yet the Qatari team thrives off pressure, and this is football where anything is possible. Qatar, they won 3-0. Witnessed a very nice uh, opening ceremony and a 3-0 uh, Qatar win. So um, the team played very well, we're happy with the score and hope to, for better scores in the next matches. I know this is not their best match. Now this is the start and uh, I hope they get better and better in the next matches. And we, we get to the final and we get the trophy please. Now that's a wrap as defending champions Qatar opened the tournament with a 3-0 win over Lebanon. Akram Afif was man of the match as he struck two goals with Al Muaz Ali nailing a goal for himself to secure the match. With a victory that thrilled more than 82,000 fans, the Maroons are on track to making it a back-to-back -back championship right here in Qatar. Mohamed Al-Thaib, AFC Asian Cup 2023, Dawah News.